Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and show you guys my Christmas setup for crafting. This is my little area of the basement that I do my crafting in, and um, I'm not going to do a full craft tour today. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I have things organized and what I have all in my craft area, let me know. Leave a comment below. I certainly can do that for you. But today we're just going to focus on Christmas. So I have a rag scott cart here next to this little um, table. It's like a bar height table with some shelving on the side. And I just picked that up from Walmart. It was, I think it was around $100. I can link it below if you're interested. It comes with two stools and they kind of tuck away underneath it. So it's really great for storage. Um, I'm only using the top of the rag scott cart. The middle just holds a lot of ephemera and the bottom holds all of my Project Life cards. So I'll go through here in detail, but that is what the um, top of the rag scud cart looks like. Then this is the area that I actually do the crafting in. And this is the tiered tray that I've been using to hold all of my holiday products. So I did this for Halloween, fall, and now Christmas. It's working out really well and it keeps everything at my fingertips. Um, it also gives me an opportunity to go through all of my supplies before I actually sit down to craft so I can purge and um, purge anything I don't want to use and make a list of things that I need for the upcoming season. So let me take you around to the other side of the desk. Where I actually sit, um, the two shelves here. This one holds the top of one of the containers. Um, I got this at Michael's. It is uh, the, the inside, that goes inside of that larger thing there. Um, I'll link that down below too if you guys are interested. It's how I store my beads. Um, I store all my Christmas in there and um, I think Bible journaling supplies and planning supplies. I have one for each. And that on this shelf I have punches, decorative scissors, um, stamps. So these two shelves will be used. I keep the second stool here and then when I want to use the things that are in there to craft with, I pull it out here and it's next to me. All right, so let me get you guys set up and I'll take you through all my Christmas supplies. I was just at Walmart tonight and I wanted to show you guys just three little things that I picked up. The first one um, is this 24 count holiday time confetti. They had a few different confettis out. I didn't go too crazy. I just decided to pick up one. And these just say, Ho, 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 in different sizes. I thought those would be really cute to craft with. So there's a metallic green, a metallic gold, and red, and there's three different sizes. And those were $1.48, so I thought those were adorable. Then I picked up these party picks. There's 16 pieces, um, eight red trees and eight green trees. These I also thought were really cute. It'd be a great dimensional touch to add to any project. They look like that. And like that. Those are adorable. And lastly, I picked up these gift tags. I think I'll split them up and I'll actually put half of them away for Halloween and maybe use half or some for Christmas. I'm not sure yet. Um, it is Nightmare Before Christmas. And there's Jack and he's holding a present and he's got his foot on a pumpkin, which is so cute. Oh, and they're all in separate divided areas. That one is Sally and she's sitting on a tombstone. There's Oogie Boogie with dice. I thought these would be cute for a pocket letter and there's zero. Um, so you get two of each. So like I said, I might leave four out for Christmas and maybe do a Nightmare Before Christmas themed pocket letter or memory decks card. I thought that would be cute. Um, and then put the other four away for Halloween for next year. So just wanted to show you guys those quick. I'm sorry, that was, those were $1.98. The party picks were $1.48. And the confetti was actually only 98 cents. So that was that quick. 
Okay, so the first thing I think I'm going to show you is I'll go through what's on my tiered tray. Um, if you've noticed off to the side here, I do have some beads and I plan on making some tassel, um, beaded tassels. If you're interested, they probably will be up in my Etsy shop, um, maybe by the weekend. I'm hoping to get to them one day this week. So I have those there. I have a large container from Dollar Tree and this holds the ribbons I'm gonna be working with. I do have other ribbons, but um, this is the majority of what I'd like to use this year. So I have this pack from Michaels, which I got on clearance when they were $2.97. I went back and I picked up this gold set that was also $2.97. Uh, so I put those both fit in here. And then I have this snowflake ribbon and one that you can't really see. Let me open this one up. This one is Christmas tree trim. So those I'm hoping to use up a majority of those this year. So that just fits over here just to the side of my mat. Um, I'll start with the top layer of my tiered tray. So I decorated with some Christmas trees. I don't know if you saw them. I picked up some from Target in the dollar spot. So this one was $1 and I think this came in two or three different colors. There was a couple shades of green and maybe a turquoise color. So that's sitting up there. Then I've got some bottle brush trees that I'll show you and a felt tree. So the first thing here is uh, bows. So I bought this, I think it's eighth inch ribbon. I have red, green, and turquoise. And I sat down one night and just made bows. I'm sure I'll have more than enough for the holiday season. Um, so I've just got those tucked away in this little pot. So yeah, you can see there's there's a ton of them. So I'll probably give some as gifts um, in happy mail if it matches what I'm sending. Put a little package together with those in. Those are really handy to have done and made up. Um, the next thing I have here in this little ceramic cup, I've got wooden Christmas trees and they're in all different shapes. And these uh, I got last year, I believe they're from Target Dollar Spot. And um, I used these uh, to decorate the front of my Christmas planner. If you guys didn't see that, I'll link that video down below as well. That um, was a fun project to do and it's something that is very inexpensive and you can actually use scraps that you have. Um, it's a good way to use that up. So I just keep on, um, there's even a few more left in there. So I have these wood veneer Christmas trees here. I've got a bunch of sequins pulled out. So I have these from the Dollar Tree and those. I have just these red confetti pieces from Michaels. These are all from Target. So these are holly leaves. Look like that. The gold is reindeer. So those were both from last year. Uh, the candy canes I picked up this year, these are sealed, so I won't open them, but they are just candy, candy canes. It's a very cute glass bottle with a cork topper. Got this out that looks like snow that I plan on using. I have um, some mini bottles that I can put a sequin mix in as a gift. I've got a pre-made sequin gift, gift sequin. I have a pre-made sequin mix here. And this actually has a little bit of turquoise in it as well, uh, because that is what I was crafting with last year. But I know I can use that this year as well. Um, and then I've got this Christmas mix here, which is just silver, gold, red, and green. So I'll be combining those, I'm sure, in some shaker pockets or shaker cards. I've got plenty other that I can also incorporate with it. I have lots of choices there. All right, and this little clear box, which I think held paper clips or something, I have all of those glitter bows that I made with the um, tape ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I have gold and this really pretty 
sparkly candy pink it looks like to me. I have a couple pre-made bows in here that just say Merry Christmas that I made and then I have some bows that I either bought or received as gifts. So this is like the turquoise color. I've got a a large gold one and I think yep, a large silver one here as well and then just some fabric bows in here too. So I have all those pre-made up ready to go. I've got here's one of the bottle brush trees. So the bottle brush bottle brush trees are from um, Dollar Tree, and I got them at least a month ago when they first started putting out Christmas supplies because I knew that they would go fast, and I haven't seen them for a while, so my feeling was right. Um, I've got this little mason jar that's got uh, paper clips in it, so I picked these up this year at the Target Dollar Spot. These are from last year, I also think from the Target Dollar Spot, and this one says North Pole, oh, it's a snowman. Those. I've got this little um, clip that I glued a little bead on that looks like a peppermint candy. And then I do have just a couple plain red ones. So I'd like to use all of those up this year. I've got a bunch of jemmies and pearls and um, sticky sequins that I can use to embellish project, projects. I've got them in turquoise and silver and green and aqua and red, a few yellow. Um, I did notice that I don't have many red, so if I get to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's anywhere within the next week or two, I'll probably pick up some red. I did look for some at Dollar Tree. I just, I don't love theirs as much, um, so I didn't get any from there. These back. Um, also on the middle tray, I've got some erasers that are, oh my gosh, they're probably, they're so old. I don't know if I'll use them. I thought maybe I could include them in and some Happy Mail just to use them up or get rid of them this year. A couple I did make into paper clips where I just took a knife and slid a hole in the bottom and then I put the paper clip in and then insert the glossy accents right in the hole and squeezed and it keeps it in there really well. So there's a present. Uh, I have a penguin and a reindeer that I just put on paper clips. And like I said, these are from a couple years old. If I can include them in Happy Mail, that would be a nice way to use them up. I've got a couple rosettes um, back here that I actually bought. These were on clearance at Michael's probably about a year ago. So I picked these up. They're really large, but I thought if I could use them um, like to finish off packaging, if I tie it up in, in uh, tissue paper, wrap it up, um, I could put a bow underneath and put this on top and maybe decorate that. So I'd like to use these up just because they're so large. I don't know what else I would use them for. Um, I've just got some red and gold rip, uh, bells here. Here's all my little candies and cookie cutters all ready to attach to projects here if I want to. I also have the two charm chains in here that that I made. Those are ready to go. Here's the little felt tree I picked up from Dollar Tree. That was a dollar. I've got this interesting um, glittered washi tape. I don't think I've ever used it before. Yeah, it's still sealed. Let's see if I can open it up. So it looks like that. So I'd like to use some of this up. Be cute as trim along the bottom of a card or something, any kind of project. I've got this container with straws in it that I, you know, can attach to a rosette. I also like to give these as Happy Mail. I like, you've seen me package them up, um, like three or four of them and give them as a gift. Got some plastic candy canes in here. This is where I'm gonna put those red and green trees. So those just go in the bottom of my tiered tray. Here is the last tree that I got from Target. I think this one's really cute because it just looks like one bow of a branch. 
so that's cute. Um, this has just some miscellaneous things in it. I have this tassel that I'd like to use that I got on clearance at Joann's. Got these four pom-poms from the Snow and Coco collection. Got these tassels from the Snow and Coco collection right here. I've got this light green tassel that I also got on clearance at Joann's and then just a leather leather tassel that I picked up. So that is the tiered tray. Um, Drop my glue gun. This video is getting long, so I, I'll try and hurry up. So here, like I said, this is just the insert part of the container that I used to store my Christmas stuff in. I've got some mini bottle brush trees over here. I've got two pins that are made out of felt. I think these are from Target. One is a snow globe. One is the gingerbread. That's really cute. I'd like to do a gingerbread theme um, pocket letter. So here are the pom-poms that I picked up at Goodwill and I mixed them with pom-poms that I got at Joann's. Um, so we'll do something with those. I've got these from Dollar Tree. One is a gingerbread and a snowflake. These are the Christmas ornaments that I got from Target this year. Put those in there. Here are some silver snowflakes, gold snowflakes, and wooden snowflakes here, all from Dollar Tree. These are some stickers in gold and silver snowflakes. I think those are from Target. Got all kinds of tags here that are mostly from Target. I've got this confetti here that was from Walmart last year. I've got reindeer, Santa, and snowmen. They're glittered on one side and just solid on the other. They're very cute either way. Got these tags from Pebbles, the Pebbles collection here that I just picked up at Tuesday morning this year. So cute. Uh, got the felt pieces here that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Uh, there's gingerbread. There's or felt ornaments here. Got these little reindeer wood veneer pieces and then all of my washi tape here. And I think I'm going to put these ho 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 can pieces here and I'm gonna put these in with my gift tags for now there so like I said this slides right underneath um, on that first shelf okay and lastly I'm just gonna take some things out of my RAS car cart first thing are these two I have all of these card games these are great little pieces of ephemera that you can put you can cut them out you can you know include some as a gift I've used these in my December daily for the last couple years, but these are all from Dollar Tree. It's their cards. Let's see, this one's Go Fish. This one's matching. So these are full sets here, but they have the cutest little um, pictures on them. So this is the matching game. I'll slip through them. So Igloo, Snowman, Owl, Polar Bear, Santa, a Fox, a Squirrel, Birdhouse, a wreath, the gingerbread house, a gift, gingerbread man, holly, candy cane, sled, reindeer. So those are so cute. Um, really whimsical look. This is a reindeer rummy game. Uh, there's snowmen, Santas, reindeer, and penguins. This one is Crazy Eight, and that's polar bears. Bears, snowmen, penguins, more bears. And then lastly uh, is the Go Fish game. And this is more really cute, whimsical pictures on these. So these are fun just to tuck in. You could put a little note on here if you wanted to. They're really cute for uh, tip-ins in your December daily. Um, but for a dollar, they're super cute. Uh, they'll last me forever. So these I have to give away as gifts. Um, this just holds some wood veneer um, letters that I'd like to use. This holds uh, also holds some red, um, really thick chipboard stickers, or yeah, stickers that I'd like to use. Um, this is just a 
mix of bags and paper and ephemera. So here I have some gift bags from Dollar Tree. I have a Starbucks bag, a bag from Antique Archaeology in Nashville. These cute bags, I think these are from Dollar Tree, but this was a four pack, I think, or five, no, more than a four pack. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different designs. Super, super cute. These are great for junk journals or December dailies or to um, give happy mail in. You can fold that over. I've got some plain craft paper ones that just say Merry Christmas on it. I've got some six by six books here. This one is rose gold patterns. This is really pretty. This is from Michaels. Um, let's see if I can give you guys a flip through. Really chunky glitter there. Beautiful sparkle iridescent. Just an embossed page and then just a tiny sparkle. So that's pretty. I'd like to use some of those. I haven't used that yet. Then I've got a paper pad that's more modern. Uh, it's got drinks. It's got cactus. Some candy. That's cute. I've got a just a six by six paper pad with those designs in it. These are older. Matt, I've got some doilies in different colors. Uh, a little list pad that I can include. Got some brads. Just a bunch of different ephemera in here. Um, I've got some paint chips in or paint swatches in here that I can use, some guest checks that have the green background on. You can get these at uh, Walmart. They're just real fun. I like to write notes on them as well. Um, here's some more ephemera. This is a paper pack from Bella Boulevard that I've had for a couple years that I decided to cut down to four by six cards. And, um, and then I also took all of my scraps and I went ahead and I created these little um, clusters like I did for Halloween. Uh, this is what some of those look like. So these are ready to be put on cards or um, different paper projects. Got some tags. Okay, then I've got, almost done. I've got a few different paper pads here. This is a Tim Holtz and it's all plaids double-sided. It's got a really vintage look to it. Um, there's some bingo cards. Look at that. Love that. Those are going to be beautiful cut aparts. Perfect for layering. I can see myself pulling from this pad quite a bit. And then I have two of these, which is just, it's called 12 Days of Christmas. It's a paper studio collection. They're one-sided and they're kind of thin. I'm not really sure what I'll use with for these, but um, a lot of different choices. You get three or four of each design, four, I think. There's some cute cut aparts there. Yeah, buffalo plaid, I think will be cute to work with. There's some words. Yeah, so those, I've got some larger red doilies that I put here. I've got these two um, sticker sheets that I got from Target Dollar Spot last year. Um, I like that these are pink and red. So you just get one sheet of each. Oh, this is, sorry, this is one sheet. This one is two sheets and these are tags. Uh, different colors in there with a light aqua. I like that. Um, I went through my stickers. I'm going to try my stickers. I went through my, um, alpha stickers and I'm going to try and use up a lot of alphabet stickers this year because I have so many and I purged so many. So these are just a flat uh, green and different colors. I don't even know where most of these came from. They're so old. Um, I've got some peppermint stickers, some glitter stickers. I think these are from Target. Some more glittered red, just plain red. Um, these are uh, K and Company Christmas just a glittered option there. I've got some gold stickers, uh, some holographic. These are just some 
chipboard stickers from Bella Boulevard. There is some white glittered stickers that are numbers only. Uh, green glitter, green glitter, solid green, white. I've got these huge number ones that are from me and my big ideas, I think. And I thought the big number ones in the green and reds would be cute if I needed those. And then here's just some black. Like I said, I pulled those all out, hoping to use up some of those. That's a goal. Got these really large chipboard stickers that are quite old, but I thought they would be cute, um, like a monogram uh, or uh, on a rosette, your initial on a rosette, which would be cute. They're really big. You can see how large those are. That's a cute font, though. I like it. Then finally in this bin, I have the two paper collections that I picked up this year, Merry and Bright from Echo Park and A Very Merry Christmas from Echo Park. And the very last two things in my rags cart are, if I can get them, I picked these up on clearance at Michael's a couple years ago, and they are just um, cut in the shape of banners. So I have aqua, greens, reds, and this, this is a deeper maroon red, which I really don't use that often. So I'm not really sure why I picked that one up, but I have it. So I'm not sure if I'll make a banner with these or include them some other way. If you have any ideas on how to use these up, I'd love to hear about it. Please put your comments below. Um, yeah, any suggestions, I'll take them. And then I have these bright red ones as well that I think were part of a banner from Target Dollar Spot. I think I used the letters off of them, but never used the banner piece. And the very last thing I have in here are just some Christmas cards. I have this cute little one that says joy with a candy wrapper, a little peppermint on there. And then I have the snow and um, cocoa gift cards there. So that is it, guys. I know this video got very long. I'm sorry I tried to rush. Um, if you have any questions about where I got any any of these supplies, let me know. Otherwise, um, I am so excited to start Christmas crafting. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.